Now, a Studio 78 world premiere. Hey guys, Tom from Optima here, back in action. And today, I'm gonna let you know some stuff about our brand new 4K projectors, the UHD60 and the UHD65. So to get started, let's make sure we have the right gear. All right, we're gonna need our projector. In this case, it's gonna be a UHD60. We need a 4K source, like this 4K Blu-ray player, and an HDMI 2.0 cable that supports HDCP 2.2. Remember, this is 4K we're dealing with now, so the old 1080p HDMI cables that you had before aren't going to cut it anymore. And while we're talking about cables, we should really talk about cable length. Since 4K takes so much more bandwidth than 1080p, we need to be really careful about the length of cable that we use. If you're going to be viewing 4K, or 3840 by 2160 resolution, at 30, 25, or 24 hertz, then you should be able to sneak by with up to a 50 foot cable. If you're going to be viewing 4K at 60 Hz, you'll probably have a tough time with anything over 25 feet due to the massive amount of information in the 4K60 signal. There are a few exceptions to that though. If you need a cable run longer than 25 feet for 60 Hz or 50 feet for 30, 25, or 24 Hz, then you can use an HDMI 2.0 repeater that is HDCP 2.2 compatible. One that we have tested is the JTEC Digital HDMI 2.0 repeater. This thing is less than 30 bucks on Amazon, and it's a coupler that will use the available power on the HDMI bus as a source to boost signal performance between two HDMI cables. And it's super easy to use because it doesn't require any external power. Power. Just plug and play. You can use an active HDMI 2.0 cable that is 60 Hz and HDCP 2.2 compatible. You can also use an HDBase T transmitter receiver kit that is 4K and HDCP 2.2 compatible. So, say you have all the correct equipment and everything is connected correctly. But oh no, there's still no signal! Well, not to worry, you probably just need to adjust the HDMI EQ in the menu. The HDMI EQ analyzes the signal data and then eliminates distortion that is caused by signal loss in long cable runs. Simply go to the menu, then Setup, Options, and select HDMI 1 or 2 accordingly. The default is 4, but try moving up or down the scale until you find what works best for your signal. A couple of cool little notes before I take off. Both the UHD60 and UHD65 are 10-bit projectors, so they both support HDR10. And when they detect HDR content, they'll automatically map in the Rec 2020 wide color gamut, which is super awesome. Guys, it's been awesome to be back. I'm super stoked to be doing these videos again. And stay tuned. There's much more Tom from Optima stuff on its way real soon. And don't forget to visit us at OptimaUSA.com. I'm Tom from Optima. Thanks for hanging out.